So a few weeks ago, I updated my Microsoft Surface to Windows 11. You guys probably didn't notice, but I have another desktop machine that's a few years old now. Unlike the Microsoft Surface, this machine is not supported in any way whatsoever. The processor is a i7-6700K. The main board is a Z170M mortar. It doesn't even have TPM 2.0 unless you add a module. But even with that, it doesn't support secure boot. So all three requirements are not there. But I want to force an upgrade in this video and see what happens. See if it breaks anything. I would start by backing up the computer if you're planning to do something like this. I downloaded a file from some website. It appears to be Chinese made. So you never really know what's going to happen. For me, I think the risk is fine. I backed up everything and the machine is so old that if it does brick, I don't mind building a new one. So let's get started. This modified installer file I'm using bypasses all the checks. I previously tried changing the registry settings. I tried many different things that I found on websites, but it appears that all these hacks were for the preview builds and they no longer work. I'm going to mount this executable and I'm going to let it run and see what happens. Since I already have another video where I did a more in-depth coverage of the upgrade process, I'm going to just tell you right now that the whole time to do this was about the same, around 20-30 minutes. It works the same as it did on my Microsoft Surface. The only difference is that with this installer, there was no option to disable Windows updates. Uh, unfortunately, I can't tell if it actually updated anything or not. Once the install completes, I'm back to the login screen, back to the same desktop wallpaper. Again, it's just a minor GUI change. Something I did notice was that both this desktop machine and the Microsoft Surface, when you try to launch the file explorer, it just doesn't do anything. It doesn't work. It looks like it's crashing something. I'm not sure if this is one of the problems of installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, but that's something to watch out for. I just tested a few of my applications. They all work. Uh, I tried Forza Horizon 3. That one launched fine. Surprisingly, Forza Horizon 4 did not, but this error that you see here is documented on the web. It looks like I just have to sign in to my Microsoft account and it should update. But other than that, yeah, the process was the same on both desktop and my laptop. I'm still doing more in-depth testing since this is a new operating system to me as well. If you have any questions, let me know. But it does seem like that you can install this operating system on unsupported hardware. The hardest part really is to find the installer on the web. I got mine from a random website, but as you know, in time, they get flagged, caught, and removed. But I'm sure, you know, you'll be able to find it somewhere else. Use it at your own risk, and if you do the proper backup beforehand, you should be good to go. If you learned something from this video today, please like and subscribe, and I hope you have a good day.